What's going on ladies and gents, Dish Fish here bringing you guys today some more Rainbow Six Siege Operator Breakdown. Today we're going to be talking about Castle. Now Castle overall is a great operator. He's got good guns, his ability is useful, and overall he's a good guy. Now coming in at a medium build with medium speed, so he's got your standard health and your standard speed, which is good. Um, now, he's got a great assortment of guns, the UMP is a decent gun, the M10 is also a decent shotgun. Overall, like I said, well-rounded character when it comes to guns and everything else along those lines. He gets a deployable shield or barbed wire, which is fantastic, because let's be honest here, he's a very defensive character. So, what we have here for his armor panels are something that's very straightforward and why Castle is an easy pick for anybody just to kind of use. It's not hard to get use Castle, like, it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to properly set up the armor panels, the good ideas and bad ideas and whatnot. So, as playing as a castle, something everyone should remember is always reinforce the area at the end. If you're on comms, tell your teammates not to barricade up the area. Now, I know... Maybe that's not a good idea because, you know, the drones can get through. But once again, I don't think people are that stupid to the point where if they realize the drones are getting jammed, they're not going to know where the area is. It's not hard by process of elimination. Hey, look, our, there's a jammer over there. The objective must be right there. It's not really that hard, especially since all the sites are recyclable. And it's, it's really not hard. So honestly, if you leave the door open and you don't jam the drones, it's not necessarily the end of the world. But like I said, so you can ask your team to wait to reinforce the area until the very end, which is a, I, what I suggest is a very, very good idea. So once everyone has decided if they want to roam or stay in, you quickly can go board up everything. Now obviously I'm talking about doors, specifically windows and whatnot. Board them up as soon as you can because you can't even hop out of those going to the outside area. That also includes doors that per se on... Uh, I believe it's the Oregon map, the one with like the big bell tower that everyone like shoots out of. Um, uh, there, when you're inside the dining hall, it's beside the kitchen in that little tucked away area. Uh, the door that leads outside, obviously, you can bulletproof stuff like that. If once again, if it leads to the outside. So things to know about his armor panels, uh, since they are quote unquote bulletproof, and I'll explain the quotes in a second here, that makes it really good for people to stop from people shooting in through windows and whatnot and whatnot. Pretty much if someone doesn't have a breach charge, they're going to have a bad time. Now you can melee down these armor panels, but it takes 12 hits to take it down, which is a long time, and by that time, by process of illumination and the constant whack on the door, you're, they're going to know you're not selling Girl Scout cookies and probably kill you if you break down that armor panel. Um, on that note too, there's also, it takes longer for a defender to rip down the panel, but it also is regenerated back into Castle's inventory as we all know. Um, if a frag grenade is actually thrown at the panel and it is not fully destroyed, what will happen is holes will be created inside of it. Now say these holes are there, you can obviously shoot through in and out of them, but say the area is clear. Now you even see in this footage a little later, I wind up killing a buck, and as I kill this buck, he... Well, I kill them, the area was clear, I ripped down the panel with the holes in it, and I just put down a fresh new one that didn't have any holes in it, which made life a lot easier for me, so I know I had less area to worry about. So if you guys have a predicament where you can just go ahead and replace a panel because there's holes in it from a frag or something, I suggest doing so. It's a good idea. Um, the only, now, going back to the quote-unquote bulletproof, the only way, the only person that can actually shoot through the armor panels is glass. It takes glass but four shots to completely rip down the panel, but his bullets, I guess they're some sort of shenanigans. I guess just a way to make glass good, or I guess on par with some operators, is that so he can just shoot through them with his high power sniper rifle. I don't know what round it shoots, but I guess it's fast enough to pierce through bulletproof, so I guess Castle needs to step off his Kevlar game. Uh, other than that, that's really it. There's a note here that says panels uh, do not really smoke when destroyed, so I'm assuming there's like dust effect and whatnot that are left over from the wood when they get ripped down. I personally haven't, I've noticed that a little bit, but nothing too much. Uh, other than that, everything is pretty straightforward. This panel can be taken down by breach, uh, breach, breaching charges, Ash's breaching charge, and Sledge's hammer. It, like I said, it's very straightforward. Now, let's talk about Castle as himself. Castle, as I said, has two very powerful weapons. Now, depending on the map and depending on what you want to do, you can switch between a slow-firing but, I guess, decent-hitting UMP that's 
pretty easy on the recoil side relative to none if you have a I think you can put a compensator on it. I didn't actually check but put a compensator on it or even a flash light or foregrip the thing really doesn't have that much recoil and a decent sight that you like everything works out the M10 is also a fantastic shotgun with a very good I guess we'll call it fire rate but in my case we'll just call it a spam rate because if you're spamming a semi-auto shotgun now unlike the Sega and the what other semi-auto guns are in the game um, there's the Sega the uh, the Super 90 and I'm probably forgetting something important. I think that's the only other semi-auto shotgun. Unless I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, sorry. But the M10 is definitely has the highest fire rate out of the semi-auto shotguns. So that is definitely a bonus side to it. It's very, very powerful and can rip through enemies. And it's got some half-decent range to it. Now, like I said, those two guns, fantastic. Overall, that's really it for Castle. He's very straightforward. He's not hard to use. He comes in great, uh, yes, we'll say synergy with Mute. Because if you put a jammer down... Uh, they can't breach it, but obviously you have to be smart with those mute charges. Oh, those mute, mute charges, those mute jammers. Put them to the side of the door so people just can't straight up shoot them. You know, make it a little more difficult for the enemy. Now, in bigger doors, if you're going to do that, it might be a little bit more difficult. So you might have to put two in a corner, but of, of course you still want to defend everything else. So you just got to be smart with the tactics that you use together. Honestly, that's really it for Castle. Is he the best operator for defense? No, because his, I guess we'll say his... His, his, I was gonna say his gimmick. His ability is easily countered. It's easily stopped. Now it's it's still good, but at the same time, once it's gone, it's gone. So if you're trying to block out a window, honestly, I've always contemplated putting them on windows. It depends on the room. If you have to put it on a window, put it on a window. But it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. Uh, windows will always get blown out, regardless or not. They'll find a way. So, if it's easier for you, put them on the window. If not, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm still on the fence, even for myself. I personally, like I said, depends on the room. But other than that, that's really it for Castle. Overall, really great character. Just simply well-rounded. I mean, just, you know, if you if you don't know who else to pick and there's a castle open, pick a castle. Never heard. I guess it's castle. Sure. He can come in clutch sometimes, as I said. And that, guys, is going to wrap it up today. If you guys want to see, uh, if you guys have a recommendation for an operator, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, oh, yeah, I want to do a quick little thing. If you haven't noticed down below, there's a link that says come game with me. Click on it because soon my exams will be over. I'm going to make a small update video this weekend. Uh, soon my exams will be over and then I'm going to be playing a shit ton with you guys on Discord and whatnot. So click that video, find out how to play games with me because a shit ton of you guys ask and I know sometimes I don't respond all the time but it is that grind time for college and everything so it's kind of that hunky-dory bullshit. Alright guys, I'm the DJ Bruce and I'll see you sexy beast in the next episode. Peace.